to do kind of a skincare and makeup video. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I did a mailbox unboxing of a Tarte palette that I received in the mail. It kind of hyped you guys up showing the outside of the palette. So I'm going to show that today as well as a few other Sephora goodies that I just picked up. For face wash, uh, moisturizer, and then I got some samples of things as well. So we're going to go through that together. Thought we would try a new little setup in here. Nice and cozy with my blanket. I have some lovely booch to drink. Also, if any of you guys are interested in knowing my take on kombucha, I can do a video of that as well. I'm going to go through my impression of the palette, show you guys all of the colors of eyeshadows in there, as well as kind of give you guys impressions of the face wash that I received as well. So all of this was bought with my own money in case anyone was curious. The palette first. So the palette comes like this. It is quite thick. So if you're looking for a small palette, it's not ideal. The front of it is sequiny, which I truthfully i think it's great like it's super glitzy but i don't know how much i like it it lose sequins it could fall apart and it can start to look ratty really quickly so that might be the only qualm i have with this palette i guess we'll see <laughs> so be forewarned i have not actually used any of these shadows yet i've just swatched them for you guys i also believe this palette is the tarte winter it's like a winter exclusive. They did one for Ulta, Sephora, and Tarte.com. I believe this is the Tarte.com winter palette. So this comes with uh, 24 shades, or a mix of matte, shimmer, and glitter, which I've never actually used glitter eyeshadow before, so this is gonna be really fun. As well, it comes with a trial size of their Lights, Camera, Lashes mascara, and their trial size of their Targus eyeliner pencil or like rolly pencil I don't know if that's what I'm calling it and it also comes with a double-ended makeup brush on the inside I'm going to cover up the lovely mirror so you don't have to see yourselves so we have six glitter shades in the palette we have the mascara here the eyeliner here the double-ended brush on the bottom so I'm going to pull out the mascara. First thing I noticed when I pulled it out, it's really light, like it's super lightweight. And it is just a normal brush type deal. We have the Tardist eyeliner, like I said. So this pops off and it rolls up. So there's a nice little point on that as well. They're both black. And then we have the double-ended brush. So we have a fluffy side on this one and a flatter brush on this side. So it's a nice gold. It's weird. The first thing I actually just noticed is that the middle piece here is a different color gold than the two end pieces, but I don't know if that would bother anybody. One thing I did here, I was looking online as to what palette I wanted to purchase. I reviewed this palette and said that the inside of it, so the container inside is plastic, and she's like, I feel like it's cheap. Honestly, personally, I don't care. So that's, that's just me. So now we're going to get on to the shadows. So we are going to start in on the shades. I have the box here to refer to the names of what the shades are called. We're going to go left to right, top to bottom. So we're going to start with this shade in the corner here. This one is called Up to Snow Good. When I first swatched it, I thought it was a matte shade. Turns out it's not. It is a shimmer shade. It is basically the same color as my skin, so it's like a very nude shimmer. The next one is this first gold glitter shade. This one is called Shiny and Bright. It is a pure gold glitter. When I first touched it, I thought it was gonna be really hard 
to get out of the pot. It was really grainy. I was like, oh boy, I've never used glitter shades, so I really don't know. I didn't really know what to expect. But I did three swipes in the pot and I pulled my finger out and it literally looked like I had stuck my finger in melted gold. The shades were so creamy, despite the fact that it's a glitter shade. It caught me off guard. I was shocked. So I'm really excited to try those on my eyes. The next shade here is called Pop Fizz Clink. It is exactly that. It is a champagne shimmery color. Fourth shade here is called Crushin. It is a more uh, pink toned shimmer color. Uh, so it's kind of a pinky silver shimmer. The fifth shade here is called Sterling. So this one is a shimmery silver color. Um, I believe there's also a little bit of glitter in it, but not a lot, just a little bit to add some different texture and different shine to it than the other shimmers. And this last one here is called Steel. It is a matte taupey color, I think. It's like a really, really light browny gray color. The first shade of the second row is called Cocoa and Cream. It is a matte color. It is kind of a brownish, really like, looks like hot chocolate mixed with a lot of milk. The second shade is called Dazzling. This is a gold shimmer. I don't, want, I don't know if it's a metallic. It could be a metallic shade. Not too certain. Uh, but it is similar to the sterling silver um, color that I showed you in the first row. So this one is a pure gold one. It's um, again shimmery with a little bit of glitter in it. The next one is called Hot Toddy. It's the same formula as the um, gold one before. It's just more of an orangey, coppery color. This shade here is called Spiced. It is kind of a tannish with a hint of pink. I believe it was matte, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, it was one of the ones I had a really hard time getting to show up on my skin. This second to last shade is called Mauve Magic. It is like a pinky, purpley, mauve color, um, and it is matte. The final shade here is called Gangsta Wrapper, and it is a silver glitter. There's silver, black, and blue glitter in it. Moving on to the third row, we have Slay Queen in the first pot. This one is kind of a pinky, goldy, like a rose gold color. That's the word, the rose gold color. Um, and it is a shimmer with a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to start calling those metallics. Maybe they are metallics and I just don't know that yet. <laughs> The second one here is called Metal Work, and it is like a coppery color, but I see silver in it as well, metallic shade. This one here, this glitter shade, is um, heavy metal, and it, it, it has, looks like green, gold, black, maybe a little bit of pink bronze. It's a really, really colorful uh, glitter. It kind of has a brown undertone. Fourth shade here is called Foiled Again. This one is kind of an orangey, pinky, reddy metallic. The second to last in the third row is called Velvet Ribbon. It is a pink metallic shade for sure. And then we have the last one is Magic Midnight Magic, and it is a dark blue matte color. One of the things I noticed with this one is I didn't need a lot on my finger, and it does stain. So just be forewarned. The final row, we have Jewel. This is a glitter shade again. So this one has pink, black, silver, um, maybe a little bit of gold.
on here is called reindeer snack so it is like a light tan brownie color kind of like the color of a reindeer's tummy this one here is called bobsled it is a burgundy rust kind of combination that's a matte color as well this one here is known as cherry tart um, and it is basically a matte cherry color the last glitter shade in the palette here is called party time there is purple pink blue uh, black silver just like looks like new year's threw up on that one and then the final shade here is a matte black and it is called black diamond again similar to the blue it does stain overall like i said the first thing i did notice was that the shades are very creamy which i don't think i've ever had in a palette before um they all applied really well they were all pretty pigmented even the light colored shades the only thing i did notice is that the matte shades particularly ones toward the bottom of the palette because i think those ones are the most matte that this palette has they're not as creamy as the other shades but they are still really creamy they're still really beautiful they're i'm so excited to use this palette um, and i'm sure you guys will see it in a future video right so now we're going to dive into my skincare so the reason i went out and actually purchased new skincare was because the that i was using before um i noticed weren't really doing their job i was still finding breakouts like crazy that weren't necessarily in line with normal breakouts for me i'm pretty lucky in the sense that i don't have really really bad skin um i just get the occasional breakout but in the winter time <clears throat> my skin is extremely dry so i was using just drugstore products and i've been having trouble actually finding them recently so that was getting frustrating but other than that i was getting really frustrated too with the fact that i'd wash my face and my face would just feel tight and itchy and not really clean like it felt clean but it just felt like it wasn't doing its job so i was like okay <sighs> whatever maybe my moisturizer will do it and i bought a little tub of moisturizer from a different company picked it up because i had used these products before not moisturizer but i'd used other products from this company and i liked them so I thought, okay, why not? First thing I noticed, and I've been using I've been using this moisturizer for a long time, but the one thing I noticed was that it was so strongly scented, and it wasn't a nice scent. Like it was sometimes it smelled like beer, which was gross. Sometimes it smelled like flowers. It honestly depended on my mood. It was really thick, which I thought was great, perfect, wonderful. I would wake up in the morning and my face would still be so dry and i was like it was like i didn't even put on any moisturizer what was the point the point was literally just to get rid of the tight feeling in my face and it it did for a little bit but the product was super sticky it didn't really blend into my skin it just kind of stuck on my skin and i did actually wonder if this product was what was causing my breakouts because obviously it's winter in canada now so my skin really needs the moisture so i put it on a little bit more frequently and i do wonder if that's what was causing my breakouts to happen a little bit more frequently not sure I'm really frustrated i don't use moisturizer in the summer because my skin doesn't need it it is usually pretty oily in the summer so i didn't really have to worry about it but now that it's back to the winter i really want something i really want to start taking care of my skin a little bit more because i i truthfully don't and I'm really tired of products making my skin feel horrible. So that is basically why I went out and got this. And I figured, perfect time to show you guys this with the palette and these. And because I spent over $35, which hurts me every time to think about that, they also gave me their January skincare sample set, which upon looking at it has a ton of stuff in it. So I'm really excited to try some of those as well. So we'll go through that together now. So the first thing I will show you is the face wash. <laughs> so I was using a face wash and a toner, but truth be told, I have no idea what toners do. So if someone can let me know what they do, I'd be gratefully 
like appreciative. When I was looking at this palette, I also saw that Tarte just put out a new, I believe, or new to me anyway, a new cleanser. So this is the Tarte Daily Exfoliating Cleanser, AHA and BHA. And they also have a toner in this exact brand. The toner was significantly more expensive. And because I don't know what they do, I just decided not to purchase it. It is a, oh, it, it's peppermint and eucalyptus. It smells amazing. It makes, I've tried it twice now and it makes my face feel like spicy cool <laughs> because of the peppermint. But it also doesn't make my face feel tight. It actually makes my face feel super soft after I wash it. I was a little nervous when I bought this because it does say exfoliating cleanser and I have super sensitive skin. I cannot use anything that has any granules of anything in it. It basically just makes my face angry. <laughs> so um, when I was in the store, I actually put a little bit on my finger to make sure that it didn't have anything in it like that because it says exfoliating on it. Um, the one thing I did actually look at was to see if there was any alcohol in this product as well as a moisturizer because I think that's what's drying out my skin. So I'm trying to avoid products that have anything that has alcohol in it. And this one does not. Yes, cruelty free, cruelty free and vegan, just in case you were wondering. I'm really, really happy with this so far. My face doesn't feel tight after I wash it. It doesn't feel itchy. It doesn't look red or irritated. It just feels super soft and supple. So I'm really excited to keep trying this and hopefully it stays like that. Now, the moisturizer was the next part. I was struggling to find something that I liked. I was looking at the Tarte products, like I think it's a drink of H2O they have, and it's like a gel, um, and they had a couple others, and everyone I put on my hands felt just ugh. I didn't like them. They were really heavy. They, again, didn't feel like they went into the skin. They didn't really make my skin feel soft, and I was like, these are so expensive, and I don't want to commit to something that I don't know is even going to work. So I caved and I talked to somebody, which is big. I don't normally talk to people in stores because normally I know what I'm going in to get. To a lovely lady at Sephora and I was like, hey, my skin dry as heck. Help me. I explained to her the situation that I had with my old moisturizer and she recommended two. The other one that she recommended, I cannot remember the name of. She probably pointed out if I saw it, but it was like triple the price and I know I'm saying I want to take care of myself but not that much not to the point where I have to spend like over $80 on a moisturizer that I don't know if it's gonna work and I don't want to put myself in like financial stress because of a moisturizer so I was like okay so she showed me another one I didn't say that to her but I was grateful that she showed me one that was cheaper I had actually been looking at this one prior to picking it up and talking to her, but I'm kind of glad that she did recommend it because now I know that this product is good. So this is the First Aid Beauty line, and it is the Ultra, Ultra Repair Cream. So this is good for sensitive skin. There is not really a scent to it, and it is allergy tested, and there's no, actually it does say no fragrance free. And again, there's no alcohol in it, um, and it can be used all over your body if you wanted to. I'm not going to because I have other creams that I like to use that are scented, but obviously I didn't want to use scented lotions that are just for your hands on my face. So she recommended this and I picked it up and I really like it. It doesn't make my face itchy. It goes on really well. The only thing I have to get used to is that it's in a squeeze tube and not like a pot, but That'll be easy to get used to. These feel really soft, doesn't like get sticky, and when I wake up in the morning, my face is not a big old flake. Obviously, I should be applying this both morning and night because my face, if I don't apply this during the day, my face will start getting drier, but I, that's just me and having to change my skincare routine a little bit to where, how it should be. Oh, that's interesting. Sorry, I just happened to look at this and I now know what A, J, and B, J are. Haven't read the back clearly because I just read this because I was thinking I probably won't use this in the summer, but I will be using this. I should really be careful because um, because it contains A, J, and B, J, um, 
It can increase the sensitivity to sunburn, and I'm already really susceptible to sunburns. It's definitely one thing to consider when you're buying this, is how susceptible you are to sunburn and how often you're out in the sun, because you don't want to make it any worse. So I'm going to go through the um, samples that I was given from the January skincare pack. The first one that is the biggest thing that's sticking out in this bag is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I have the full size of this and I love it. A little tiny bit goes a long way. Um, I find that I don't use it all over my face anymore because it even after washing it off, it, del it still did leave like a kind of a bit of a residue. Um, and I'm a contact wearer, so I did find that it kind of, it, it didn't feel good around my eyes. So it could be because it is pretty oil based. I also did notice that I struggled to get off my waterproof mascara with it, which again could be because I didn't really get in there and scrub because of my contacts. So basically now I just use it to take off my really long wear lipsticks and it does the job. It gets rid of the stain. It, it really does take off your makeup. So I would definitely recommend trying this. This little tiny amount would probably go at least a month if you're wearing lipstick every day. If you're doing your whole face, you could still probably go a couple weeks with this tiny amount because you take a little bit and you rub it between your hands and you really just get in there and it's really awesome how it works. I saw Louise Pentland on YouTube use it and I was like, it's a must have product for me once I saw her use it and now I'm like in love with it but I've had it for a while. So definitely recommended. I'll probably be giving that sample to someone else if they're interested in trying it. So the first one that I see here is Caudalie Vino Source SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. So normal to dry skin, long lasting comfort. So that's a moisturizer I could give a shot to, right? Who knows? It's probably scented, but that's okay. It looks cool. Worth the shot. This little one here is Youth to the People. It's an adaptogen deep moisture cream. Oh my god, I don't even know if you read that. Ashwagandha and Reishi Pentapeptide. Okay. That's cool. It's another moisturizer. I think this one's probably for people who are a little bit older. It says depleted skin on it a lot, but maybe my mom will use it, or I'll use it, one or the other. This one is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask Seaweed Radiance Facial. So that one looks like... So it's, a, it's an actual mask, a face mask, and it looks like there's stuff in it. So I'll have to be careful with that, but I like face masks. Then we have the Kate Somerville Skin Health Experts All Skin Types Exfolicate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. That sounds scary. <laughs> um, it says morning or night, and then moisturizer, so you rub it in, and then you rinse it off. It may cause the skin to tingle and flush slightly for a short time. That's good to know because sometimes I worry that products are causing my skin to react when it's just the way the products are. The next thing we have is La Neige Hydrating Eye Sleeping Mask for all skin types. So these are the ones that you leave on your eye areas overnight. I'm a face like side side sleeper, face sleeper, so I feel like I probably wouldn't use this, but I could leave it on for like a couple hours. I don't know. Not really sure if I'd use that one. The next one we have is a Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. That was a mouthful. And apparently it's supposed to hydrate for up to 72 hours, so I guess we'll see. This one also says oil-free, alcohol-free, and fragrance-free, so this could be a good one. Then we have a Belief, so Believe in Truth, the, cream, the True Cream Aqua Balm. Light Gel Cream 
for the face. Increased hydration level. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. Um, it says on the bottom of it that it's based on clinical evaluation of skin hydration level. I don't know what that means, but that's it's interesting. Then I have a sample of the Ultra Repair Cream from the First Aid Beauty, which obviously I know I like, so I might actually gift this to someone who might benefit from it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, we have a Sephora brand sample of the AMA, so amino acids, uh, clean skin gel, cleanse and tone. Can I open it? Is it sealed? That smells very... I don't know. I can't even think of the word, but it just smells not chemically, but just not, like, great. Um, and then the last one we have here is the Juice Beauty Signal Peptides Firming Serum. Which... Clinical results. 91% reported firmer, smoother, and younger looking skin. So it's just a little sample for their firming serum, which again, probably not going to use that one um, on my own skin, but I could probably give it to someone who will benefit from it. So that is all, folks. Let me know if you have a favorite skin cleanser, skin moisturizer, favorite makeup product. Do you think this palette is worth it? I honestly think this palette is worth the money that I paid for and I think it's actually worth full price. Had someone told me that before, I might have paid full price, but I feel pretty proud that I got it on sale. So look for a new video showing a makeup look with this eventually. Um, it might be a couple weeks, but it'll eventually come out. As for you guys, I hope you enjoyed, um, and I will see you guys soon. I really do hope you enjoyed your snacks and your drinks and your comfiness, and if you like this style of video where I just kind of talked your ear off in a comfy setting, let me know. I will see you guys soon. Bye!